Hello. Um, so I, I'm going to be uploading this to YouTube, even though it's specifically for Ellie. Um, but if anyone else happens to stumble upon it, you're welcome to it. So I'll just kind of address it to everyone, which is interesting. Oh, my roommate's home. Okay, so um, I'm doing a MailChimp run through, um, how to use this website for mentoring. Um, this is what I use and there's a lot to it, so I'll try to be quick, but it might end up being long, like things typically go. So this is um, the website. I logged into my account and I just clicked on audience and went to my audience dashboard and this is where it took me. So I'm going to show you how to upload contacts. Um, if you want to add contacts, you can import contacts. Um, and you can upload a CSV file and or you can copy and paste it from a spreadsheet. So I, for the sake of personal information that should not be disclosed, I realized that I probably shouldn't show you exactly how to walk through it because I only really have um, past students information um, and that would violate our dear friend is it I don't think it's HIPAA it's a different one but laws it would violate laws anyway so once you get to there there will be a bunch of different fields that you can see um, you can label the fields in your spreadsheet with first name, last name, and then like et cetera, and their email address and their phone number. Um, there, if you downloaded it from the first year mentoring website, there will be a lot of extra information like their address and um, like some, and like their major, I think. And so you don't necessarily need those, so you can delete everything else. Um, and then uh, once you save that how you want it, and you can upload it to this website, you can click on the fields that you want to um, upload, and it will pull everyone's, um, like everything in really fast. So that's really nice. And if you would like a sit down run through of that, um, or if you have questions about that, feel free to just ask me. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna run you through, we're gonna exit this guy. Um, there, we're going to run through campaigns. Um, and you can see what I have done for my campaigns. So, these are pretty much like the template of your emails. You can add tags to your contacts um, and um, send emails through tags that way. Um, I, I can show you more about that when I open the email. So um, you can also see how many people have opened your email, how many people have clicked on links in your email. Um, if you go to view report, you can see specifics of those things and kind of mess around with that a little bit. See who has open your email, who hasn't, who's clicked on links. Um, and also the time of day, um, that there were the most opens. So that's helpful for knowing when to send it out in the future. Um, like when a popular time to see that people get on their emails is, yeah, okay. So, we're going to click on this. So, this is my email to my summer students. And it should be showing me this, but my internet is slow. Okay. So, this is just kind of an overview of my email. I have a link to my website um, that for new mentors, they'll be setting that up. Um, shortly. It's called You Can Book Me, and um, this is a direct link to that website. If you click on that, it'll take you and show you my schedule, um, and you can click there instead of a meeting. Um, 
You can add GIFs, you can add like little section dividers, you can add color blocks, you can add pictures. Um, and yeah, it's like a lot of fun to work through. You can embed videos, you can add, yeah, it's just like these are the first year mentoring's social media platforms. There's so much that you can do with this. So, um, now that you've kind of seen what this looks like, I will take you to um, this. So, for example, you can... Okay, not for example. I'm really sorry. English is really hard. Anyway, so um, you can keep the same format, like once you've put together... A campaign format um, then you can just replicate it from week to week and edit it so that's what I do every week um, and this and you can edit the name of it so I mean I need to write an email for my students this week so we'll call it summer seven um, this is the two field so they're the recipients and this is where the tags come in handy um, I have tags for my winter students, my pre-arrival students, and so just depending on who you're sending it to, you can go through and tag your, um, your contacts and just send it to them this way. So that's really nice. Um, yeah, quick cancel. You can edit who it's from. Um, so... You can do your first and last name or your first name, um, and it'll just show up that it's from that name um, in your inbox. And then the email address that you wanted to send from, which will be your work email. Um, you edit the subject line here. You can put a preview text as well. Um, you can add emojis or whatever. Um, depending on your supervisor, they may or may not want you to do that. Probably not, just to maintain a little bit more of a professional vibe. So, um, okay, and here is where we edit our design. So, let's thinking. Still thinking, okay. So, this is kind of the format that I have worked with and I just edit every week. I've changed it a little bit as time has gone on, but this is pretty much what I do. So I, um, canva.com is a really cool website where you can create, um, introduction, things like this, if you would like to do that. Um, you, I usually use the Facebook cover template, but that's, I mean, if you wanted to do that then you can but you totally again like emails are super individual you can do make it like as simple or as kind of like I mean not complicated but like add different fun elements you can do whatever you want with it so um I'll just show you how to kind of get this format briefly um so you can you pull these and you drag and you drop them where you want them so that's a text box and you click on that and you can type in there. Um, you can also change the style so you can change the font. Um, you can make it look different like that. Some of the email um, browsers don't support like the different web fonts so they'll just use a standard font um, and that just kind of depends on what their email is. Anyway, you can change the size, so you can make it, um, you can also change the color if we wanted to make it purple. You can mess with all that here. You can align it differently. Um, you can change the spacing in your lines, so, um, and then you can also apply that to all existing text blocks. So you don't have to go, and I just learned this recently, you don't have to go and edit these individually if you wanted to change the font of everything. Then you can click apply to all existing text blocks and it does it. But I don't want that to happen, so I'm going to unclick that. Um, settings, you can have more than one column. You can split it different ways. Um, and then... 
You'll, it usually auto saves every so often, but you'll want to save and close that. You can do the same thing with images. Um, I'll show you how to add GIFs. So upload an image. Um, these are all different things that I've pulled from Google, from, um, from like things that I have created as well, from flyers that we've been asked to send out. Um, and yeah, so you can like decide the way that you want to see those as well. Um, but the way to add GIFs is you can go here and you can type up, um, like search a certain GIF that you want to add. So like, I'll add like a what GIF. And um, one of the rules that, that will be talked about in fall training is you do not, you can't send any like media with anything that's against the honor code. So that's like, like it's hard. Cause like there's the Kermit gif that's really funny where he's like sipping tea, but we can't send that because it has tea and that's against the word of wisdom. Um, anything with like alcohol um, or like coffee or anything like inappropriate, but that's, that one kind of just goes without saying. So, um, but yeah, that's why we send it to our supervisors first before we email it out to our students so that they can check and make sure that everything is good to go. Okay, so we'll choose Jimmy Fallon because he's good. We like him. So you can add that um, and it'll take a minute to load. But once it does, if it does, who knows? Anyway, we'll come back to that. So you can add gifts that way. You can add quotes. You can add, oh, there she, there she goes. You can change the display size. You can also um, align it in different places. Um, and you can make it have a border if you want it to. Um, you can make it colored, you can route the corners, um, so lots of cool customizable things. You just, it takes time, but you just kind of play with it and, um, yeah. So this is a button. I can show you how to add one of those as well. This is like where I link. So you can pull that in and add links and mess with the color and stuff under style and then um, settings as well. Social follow, video, um, footer, like at the end of your email, you can add a color block. Box text is how I get the color blocks right here in here. So same thing, style, you can change the font, you can change the color. Um, you can apply that to all existing text blocks. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of really fun things to do. And then once you're done, you can hit continue. And what you'll want to do before you send it to anyone, you'll want to send a test email. And I usually send one to myself and then to my supervisor as well. So, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. And then once you get approval, you can come back here and click send and think this is where you can see all of the emails that you've ever done you can organize them into different folders um, so like I have a fall 2019 folder and I haven't really organized them since then but anyway so that's something that's pretty fun um, again there's like a lot there to kind of look around and mess with um I still haven't really I that's pretty much I showed you pretty much everything I do I don't like really dive into a lot of the different things that are available um so yeah if you have any questions feel free to ask me and I'll be happy to help because I know that there's probably this probably raised a lot more questions than it answered so 
yeah, have a great day. Mm, that's all.